Hello and welcome to the first ever WCIMCA's or the Worst Cubes in My Collection Awards. Our first category is for the Worst Turning Cube. Here are the nominees. First we have this Rubik's 3x3. I got this cube at Worlds in Australia and I then decided to solve it underwater at the Great Barrier Reef and after that it turned pretty terribly. It must have gotten rusted out or something because it really just takes a lot of force to move even after being lubed. Kind of my fault that it is this way, but it turns pretty bad. Next up, we have the QJ Megaminx. This cube is just really difficult to turn. The shape and the tiles just make it really, really hard to grip on top of the fact that it just takes a lot of effort to turn. So overall, just not a pleasant cube to solve on. And finally, we have the Shangxiao 8x8. I genuinely do not know how I solved this cube. It does not turn well, it's huge, so it's hard to hold. This cube really shows how far big cubes have come. And the winner for this category is the Rubik's 3x3. Despite being lubed, it still feels super dry and slow and just takes a lot of effort to turn, so it is just not a cube that I enjoy doing solves on. Our next category is for worst looking cube. The nominees in this category are the GAN 356S. This cube has definitely seen better days. Pretty much all of the stickers are chipped or peeling. This is a great cube, it turns well, but the stickers are not looking too good. Next up we have the iCube, an iconic picture cube. It has under 10 stickers at this point because they've pretty much all fallen off. So yeah, it's pretty much just a plain white cube at this point, not looking too good. And finally, we have this mini dollar store 3x3. I've barely ever touched this cube, so I don't even know what happened, but the stickers, I think they just wore away because now they look like there's black spots on all of them and they just look really bad. It almost looks really dirty, even though it's not. And the winner for this category is, of course, the iCube. It used to be a pretty cool looking picture cube, but it has definitely seen better days. And our final category is the worst frustration for the cube that just irritates me the most to solve. Of course, in this category, we have the Sudoku cube. It wouldn't be Olivia Kleiner video if I didn't take a few moments to complain about the Sudoku cube. It is just so frustrating. It's a lot of guess and check, and it's just a cube that I do not enjoy solving. Next up, we have the 13 by 13. Of course, this cube can get kind of frustrating just because it's so time consuming. Not as time consuming as a Sudoku cube though, but it still does take a while. It's also really hard to hold just because it is so big, which just makes it even harder to turn. And our final nominee in this category is the heart cube. I don't talk about this cube a lot, but it actually is really, really frustrating to solve. Many of the pieces are very similar. So if you have it in the right spot, they'll only be a slight differentiation. It won't quite match up. And then you have to keep finding new pieces because it requires a lot of guessing and checking again to get the pieces right. And there's only slight differences, so it can be really hard to even tell if pieces are in the correct place or not. It was not a pleasant cube to solve. This one was a hard choice, but the winner in this category has to be the Sudoku cube. With the heart cube, you can at least tell if a piece is in the right spot. It might take a little while to determine, but with the Sudoku cube, it's pretty much impossible. It's just fully guess and check. There's really no way to tell, and it just took me longer than any of the other cubes to solve. Now, before we end this video, I have a few special awards. First up, we have an award for the worst setup, which goes to this Diane Guhang version 2. This cube was inadvertently lubed with shampoo, giving it a very weird feeling. The cube is super loose, but it feels like kind of tight and dry and sticky almost. It's just really a weird feeling, very hard to turn. Would not recommend lubing your cubes with shampoo. Next is the award for worst pain to turn. This actually ended up being a tie between the 13 by 13 and the 10 centimeter 3 by 3. 13 by 13, as I said, it's really big and just makes it super hard to turn. I pretty much have to use the table. It's hard to hold up because it's so big and because it's very heavy. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have the 10 centimeter 3x3, which is so small that it's really hard to turn. You can pretty much only use your fingertips, which gets really difficult after a while. It turns nice, but it also has pretty much no corner cutting, which makes it even harder. And it just kind of hurts your hands to have to hold them pinched down for so long while solving. 
And our final award is for worst pop, which goes to the Chi Wuhua 6x6. This cube popped almost right after I got it. It was a complete explosion, and it's been living in this bag ever since. Alright guys, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!